What's going on boys? No guys here, welcome back to another and I have potentially the best meta team that I've ever made. For 100k, I promise you right now, if you're watching this video, you will not. In fact, I challenge anyone out there to get a better 100k team than this and I'll give you free access to my FIFA school um, series at FIFA.com. If you want to join my Patreon series, patreon.com forward slash nil guides. Link is down below in the description. And let's go straight into this meta team. You're going to be shocked when you see it's a three, well, I'll say three league hybrid. Um, I will say mainly on two leagues and you'll be shocked to know how good this team is. The first one we're going to get in is in Babu. I'm going to give you the each play on a recommendation if you can't afford and what to get on the cheap. I mean, Babu, you can get Muk here unless you haven't got money for him. There isn't anyone really better. One of the best centre-backs in the game. He's a costly agent in this team, so if you want to reduce it down to an 80k, you can get rid of him. Now, um, in order to make it a meta team, look, the truth is, we all know the finesse shot of the meta is there. But also the L1 triangle triangle meta is there. So you need fast center backs. Look, I don't care what anyone else tells you. You cannot make do with someone with 60 pace. It's unbelievable. It's outrageous. In my opinion, just don't, don't even go anywhere near it. Um, Klosterman, a top, top, play, top, top player, six foot two, really, really good sprint speed, good acceleration, and top tier defensive. Uh, if you are worried about headers as well, he's tall as well, so he does have that. But the most important thing is that sprint speed. In fact, I'll still go ahead and put a shadow on him. Um, next, I've got another tank, and we have gone with Akanji. Akanji is another center back now. Um, I would, uh, you're going to be shocked to even know that. Even for me, this is a special team because everyone's actually on 10 chemistry. So if you don't know me, I normally play players off chem, but this is the first time you'll get even a 10 chemistry. So this is like a, a rare occurrence. Again, a Kanji, same thing. You put a shadow on him. Um, top tier player, six foot two, absolute tank. And you've got two tanks in the back that are, of course, very, very speedy and got the physical and the defending. The goalkeepers, I would have gone with someone like Noya, but the truth is he is just too expensive. Um, so what we've done is gone with Golaski. Um, you can go with other players as well. You could go with Berkey on the cheap if you haven't got the money. Um, but Golaski for the price of 5k, I think it's really good. And I'll show you how this gets full chemistry, how it lines up in the game for the formations, etc, etc as well. Um, so that is the back line. On the left-hand side, we're going to go ahead and to get everyone on 10 chemistry, we've gone ahead and got Shaws. Um, Shaws is a really, really good card. For those who don't know, he's always been one of my favorite left backs in the game. I played him in CDM for many, many years. Um, very similar because of that Jill team balance. He has been nerfed, um, his card. It wasn't the 81s as he was back in the day, but he still has that very high sprint speed, which is the most important. For left back and right back, the most important thing is pace. Everything else comes second. In fact, if it was up to me, if I had a choice between someone that's 81 pace with 99 defending or 99 pace with 80 defending, I would choose a 99 pace any day of the week. Um, and that is a left back and a right back. Now, where does the hybrid start? So first of all, we want to go with one of the best centre mids in the game. Now, there's five best, I'll say five best centre mids. You have Kessia, you have Barella, you have a few other players. But one other player that I don't see anyone talking, in fact, I got in my club, I don't know why I'm searching a concert player. It's Emery Chan. Now, ignore the acceleration. You put a shadow on him. And he is one of the best players I've used. Now, this is the most disgraceful thing is he's six foot one, four star weak foot. But look at his natural defensive stats. It's a joke. When you put a shadow on it, he's an absolute tank. And given the fact he's actually got decent agility and balance and decent long shots and the shot power for that finesse shot meta, you can't go wrong. The guy can actually do everything. He's got the physical, the defending, the dribbling, the passing, the shooting. What else do you need? Maybe if he had better acceleration, maybe so. Under 20k, absolutely still. Goretzka next one up is 200k. Obviously, that is way above the best, double the price of the team. But for that kind of price, you really couldn't get anyone better. And then it comes to the Italian league. And honestly, I'm shocked to find that these players are so cheap. The Italian league right now is just so worth it just because of the price of the players. The first player we've gone with is Insigne. A top, top tier guard. Really, really good. I'll put a hunter on him. You want to get that agility, you want to get that sprint speed up because he's already got natural agility and balance. I want to get that finishing up as well. If you want to make him a long shot beast, maybe put a dead eye on him, get his passing up and get his finishing up. Or even put a marksman on him if you really, really want to. But this is the kind of guy that can play in the left wing, right wing, can play in a camp, can play in number 10. Can even play as a second striker. Everything you want. Agile dribbling beast. And of course, he does have the four star. Four star, perfect. Lower, um, lower stature and obviously lower center of gravity can easily move in any direction and then i was going to go with again uh, one of the bundesliga players but I, th and I thought okay you know what we can just about we can't we can't um i was going to get okay i was thinking okay who else could i get in there i was looking at the other players um in syria unfortunately the other players i forgot what like right right chiesa sorry but he's too expensive at 20k but lozano fits in perfectly three star week for the bit of the nerf but top tier agility and balance top tier sprint speed 
you can put a marksman on him and he's pretty much job done. I'll be honest, those two left wing and right wing pace abusers, you can't go wrong. A perfect for 4 4 2 3 5 2. And then I wanted the most attacking players going up front. And um, I'm shocked, honestly. I'm honestly flabbergasted at the fact that Immobile is only under 10k now. Listen, when you're watching this video, you know, the video, the prices might change. It's probably 120k by the time you watch this video. But this guy is cracked. The fact that this guy with a four star weak foot for the finesse shot meta is only un it's only 8k. It's a joke, I'll be honest. I don't know. You need to get this card ASAP. But finesse shot meta got the physical, got the agility and balance, got the sprint speed. But the most important thing, he's got the finishing shot power and long shots. Now, he's got the outside of foot shot traits. It's basically like a five star weak foot. Not a five star weak foot all the way, but like the four and a half, as I like to call it. Top tier card. We all know the finesse shot and time shot meta, how powerful it is. This guy is so good. Forget even the time shots. You don't even need to do that. Top, top tier card. No questions asked. I'm pretty sure you all know that. Then um, we've gone with Mertens because Mertens does give the chemistry. Um, I was going to go with, um, with Muriel. Um, if you're watching this and you're a typical Neil Guides viewer, um, I would definitely go with Muriel. Take Lazan on 8 chemistry. Go with Muriel over here because Muriel, seriously, he's got the better um, sprint speed and better stats for shooting. But Mertens, another good card. High low, can play as a second striker, can play in a left mid, right mid. 5 foot 7 again. It's got the finesse shot trait, so you can do the finesse shots outside the box. It's got the 4 star weak foot and the outside of foot shot trait, making it a 4.5 star weak foot. Top tier agility and balance. Got the finishing, probably put a marksman, I'll probably put a hunter on him just to get that pace up. And he's a fantastic player alongside him. And then the final player I want to go over is one of the best centimeters. Now, if you've got the money, I'll definitely go with Kessia. Um, but that puts the budget um, just a tad bit too high in this team. Um, you're talking about, if you've got the money, go get Chiesa and Kessi. Um, it goes around about 150k in total, but... That is really pushing the budget. To keep it under the budget, we've got Barella. I think he's a top, top tier card. Um, obviously had a fantastic year last year. Obviously, um, his performances have obviously spoke for itself. But of course, he's got the best cards again in the game. High, high work rate. Perfect for center mid. You've got one that's medium high, sitting back one high, high. Then go bring the ball going forward. Perfect. Got a sprint speed. Got the agility. Got the balance. Got everything you want. Can defend. Got the physicality, agility and balance. Shot power is not the best and finishing, but everything else is good. He's got a good short passing, amazing dribbling. Him on balance would be a fantastic card. I'll probably put a Hunter or a Shadow. It depends on how you play. I'll definitely say go towards a Shadow if you're quite weak defensively. That way you can leave both of them on stay back while attacking. And you've got Emre Chan. I see it a bit deeper with his work rates and Barello will be just in front. Think from like... um. Think of like uh, Emery Chan, like the, the Gilberto Silva. Now, we're going to go over to Footbin. I'm um, just so I can show you a bit of a man. And I honestly, I'm shocked to find that like 100k is a joke. Um, this team, it will not be staying 100k. So you better buy up now. Buy up now before everyone. I hope this video doesn't go famous because like um, everyone would, of course, clock by then. But that's the way I would line it up if you're talking about how I'm talking about in terms of the chemistry, as you can see, everyone gets 10 chemistry without even a manager. That's a nil guide, extraordinaire, a rare situation. Normally, I go for the off camps, as I mentioned. Um, I'm going to show you the lineup as well now. Um, the 4 1 2 1 2, I would go with Barella in center mid. And um, what I will do is, if I've got Muriel, I'll put Muriel in striker um, with Immobile, Insigne in cam. And then what I'll do, personally speaking, is I'll drop one of these guys there. If you want to, you can put... So I normally put someone like Barella on stay back while attacking. And you can put someone like Insignia on get forward. That way you got that really, really good balance. And um, going over to the 4-4-2. Because this is like an interesting formation. Everyone wants to use the exact same layout as you can see over there. And I'll put Insignia on the left-hand side. And Muriel and Mertens up top. We're talking about the 4-3-2 one, which is another, another feasible option as well. The same thing, Immobile goes in, striker. Um, I'd probably say if you've got Muriel, um, you could probably drop him over here. And you can swap them around. You can play Muriel over there. And you can play Insigne there. It's completely up to you. But that's the way that I would do it. The three midfield are really, really good. You can put this guy on balance and put the other two on stay back. Don't forget... You can always change them. 4-3-3 is the exact same thing. If you're going to be playing two CDMs, you drop them as two CDMs. Or you can drop Insignia in. If you're playing a 4-2-3, which I think for the finesse shot meta, this will definitely be one of the best formations for the finesse shot meta. I think I would probably put Insignia in. I think this is the best 4-2-3-1 layout, in my opinion. Um, Insignia in cam. We've got the GL team balance. You can put a Deadeye on him or Marksman get his finesse shot abuse up. Um, you've got Immobile Striker. And then, of course, you've got Mertens or Muriel. 
and Lozano on the wings. And you've got Emery Chan and Barella and CDM. And the last one to go is, of course, the 3 5 2. The 3 5 2 is a fantastic formation that I've been using. And it is probably the big winner, in my opinion. My favorite formation so far. Um, again, the exact same layout. Uh, it's up to you who you want to put on the side now. Um, per personally, Shaw's is high, medium, and so is Mbabu. It depends on who you really want. Um, you can always sub these guys off and just get like a super sub like Ghost and something to get the job done. Um, but I'd probably put Mbabu over there. I can in the middle because he's the slowest. And then that's the way I'll line it up. Um, I'll probably, of course, put Zan on that hand side. And that way you've got Insigne and Cam and you've got two deadly strikers up front. But there you go, the 100k team. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more meta squad builders. Tutorials to get better at the game. I'm uploading so, many, so much recently. Sleep does not exist in my eyes. And don't forget, patreon.com forward slash Neil Guides. Full money back guarantee if you don't get better. And if you join right now, there's actually a money back guarantee. So you can try it free for one week and you won't get charged for September. I'll refund you when you join. Thanks for watching, boys. Take it easy and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.